somehow Monday just creeps right up on you. What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to my 2K16. Let's play my career, Ebenezer's Revenge. On the PS4, fighting Daniel Bryan, having a five-star match, and losing is the goal today. Hoping to increase our discipline. Uh, you see our bottom stat there, discipline and aggressive, and hopefully increase our discipline. I want to say perseverant and loyal is probably pertains to the tag team stuff. I really haven't gotten too much into the tag team stuff, so that's probably why I don't have those stats in either direction. But be that as it may, gonna fight Debry here. Uh, I am still a heel. My overall is 93, and it is battleground shortly. Uh, but also, it's week. Two. So that means that I didn't get into a feud in week one, therefore I won't have a feud opponent for Battlegrounds. Let's see who's on this show here on Raw that I could actually attack, uh, perhaps. So, scrolling through people who are on this episode of Raw, I think that in terms of matches I'd like to have, certainly Finn Balor would be a good one to have. So let's go attack Finn Balor. And see if we can get into a few with him as my phone buzzes over there. I didn't turn the phone off. My bad. Got the phone back on mute. Where are we at? We are in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm attacking... Well, wouldn't he be Prince Devitt if we were back in Tokyo, Japan? Uh, certainly would be getting a, a huge ovation. As he will uh, when NXT goes to tour Japan. Uh, which is going to be soon. I'm pretty sure. The, those, those shows sold out. Hey, Balor boy. On to the solid steel stage. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, what's up, Internet? It's Monday. Hey, how you do? How you doing on this fine Monday morning? Uh, he reversed the Ebenezer. Holy shit. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe. Oh, the, fr the flying cross body failed it. This is all going real bad. I reversed that. Choke slam. Choke slam city. So, I will give you the F5, if you don't reverse it. Boom! F5 onto the stage. Charge the finisher. Charge the finisher, it is Ebenezer. Actually, no. We'll do the other one. We'll do the other one, which is, uh... Okay, not the other one. I, th I thought it was... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It worked. Alright, there we go. Five little bars there. Uh, and here's Renee Young to ask us ask us about it before we have our match with Debry. I want that boy. We, saw you two go we didn't get in the ring. Why does she always say that? They recorded one generic line. Uh, this is the match for the ages. I am greatness. It was electric. He's my next victim. I'm gonna say it was electric. No, a match for the ages. I'm. Go with the safe face answer here. Want to match with him. Two of the brightest superstars in the WWE going toe to toe. There is no way he can pass that up. It would be a match for the ages. For the ages. Things have been getting So here's where it actually confirms the rivalry. The second question. Uh, I will get past him by force. I'm going to finish this not with my time. So Face answer, heel answer, yes. Face answer, heel answer, no. I think he's a real threat to what I'm trying to do here in the WWE. Yeah, a real threat. If he wants to get in the way, then I'm just going to have to get past him by force. This rivalry is just starting. Trust me on that. Yup. We're not going to fight a battleground, because we're already in week two. There Thanks for the time. Have. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Alright, let's get into the actual match stuff here, uh, which should still take quite a bit of time because, you know, we're fighting a five-star match and that is going to be time-consuming. So, it is a Monday morning here. By the time this video goes up, uh, there will already most likely be raw spoilers or some raw spoilers on the internet because raw, uh, as usually happens after Mania, uh, is emanating from London at the O2 Arena, and therefore they are taping it hours before, you know, the actual usual airtime here on uh, the East Coast in the U.S. So, 
Uh, every year they have Raw in London, and there are Raw spoilers uh, before b before the show even airs, which you know is the only time of the year that actually happens. Uh, so, yeah. So so certainly you know uh, if you if you don't want to get spoiled, stay off the internet. Uh, but you know, perhaps finish watching this video first and then get off the internet. I don't know. Uh, whoa there, D Bry. Um, yeah, so, speaking of, uh, their European tour here, which they've been on for a little bit, uh, you can't do that, Daniel Bryan, we're gonna get counted out. I'm supposed to have a five-star match with you, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? Get, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Um, speaking of the European tour, get back in the ring, shithead. Um, apparently... Uh, they've been back and forth on Taker having matches here on this tour. First it was no. Like, not, nope, mania, done, whatever, not gonna have it. Uh, then it was, oh yeah, he'll, he'll work like two shows and he'll tag team with Kane against somebody. Um, and now, once again, it is no. So, feel bad for everybody who bought, bought tickets after they confirmed it, uh, and now they are unconfirming it. Uh, and, you know, as always, card subject to change you know that's kind of the nature of wrestling but that's kind of a shame uh, for fans you know who haven't got to see him live and obviously he doesn't have a lot of time left to have you know live matches because you know he's getting up there in years um so that's kind of a shame but is what it is um the only other little tiddly bit of a news story here uh was there was some stuff when they were over in uh, Dubai, uh, I, they were doing, I, I think it was that, they, they were doing interviews, and there were some interviews with the Ryback, who, uh, said he's kind of, uh, frustrated with his current position, uh, on the card, and was frustrated with where they positioned the U.S. title match at WrestleMania, um, it was, it was, it was the opening match on the pre-show. Uh, and that maybe he'll find some other world to get popular in, meaning in maybe he'll just leave and go somewhere else. Uh, and, you know, never a bad idea. Uh, you know, if you're a big enough name and you can f find work in Japan or Mexico or, you know, wherever, if you can, you know, get enough of a paycheck, um, you know, that's, that's how you learn, you know, more stuff. That's how it used to work, work when, when they had territories, but I've had that discussion here on this show multiple times about how much better it was when they had territories and you know is what it is um so as we know wade barrett is not uh sticking around past june they, they've already written him off tv uh so perhaps he'll go to new japan um or you know somewhere along those lines i'm hitting triangle f you um but that, that kind of uh, remains to be seen. What are you doing, D-Bry? Aha, I'm, you missed. You missed. And now you can have an F5. You're welcome. Alright. Let's do our table spot. That will get me uh, another half star at least. Boom! Sunset flip. You guys better move, because the fat's going to fly. Hey. Get up, there! I didn't mean to do that. Get up. Get up. No! Why is it they always do that? How? How is it they always do that? I don't understand. I've done this so many freaking times. Well, got to do that. Don't want to get counted out. Need to have a five-star match here, so... Get out of the ring. Punch you. Alright, let's make this happen. Get up. There we go. Oh my god, time. Fat's gonna fly. You can't be serious! That man has a family! Oh my god! 
Alright. And then back in the ring. <laughs> right back in the ring. Not gonna pin you though, because I'm, I'm supposed to lose. So... It is what it is. Woo! Where are his knees? You could have got the knees up there, D-Bry. You, you could have. But you didn't. Um... Not a lot of spring left in his step. I, I think it would be interesting to see Ryback in New Japan. I think that is potentially actually really interesting. Uh, but also he needs to stop working. Like he's trying to work like a more high flying style. And he's a big guy. Like he's the big guy. Like he shouldn't need to do that to get noticed. Because honestly that's going to take years off of, off of his career. So I think if he, if, he, if he chose to go to Japan and work... The strong style, I think that would certainly benefit his character. Um, so, I don't know. That's kind of just my thought on it. Uh, we'll see if he actually decides to uh, say, you know what, fuck this. Because, you know, some guys just get tired of it. They get, they, they, they get tired of being so far down on the card, not making any progress when they think they should be the guy. And certainly, uh, the powers that be don't think that. Uh, and certainly, if you don't get the fans behind you, like, seriously, if, if, if Daniel Bryan had not got the fans behind him to the extent where they could no longer ignore it, uh, ah, crap, it's a yes lock. No. 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 Get. Four stars. Boom. Chops. Um, just gotta hit five stars here. Just gotta hit five stars. I should have. I should have done the other signature, but fucking whatever. Fucking whatever. Um, let's use the other finisher. Here we go. Chimeraplex. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. And not gonna pin off of it because you know I'm not supposed to win this match. Uh oh, he's got his C. He has his comeback there. That's gonna be bad for me. It is going to be bad. Oh, he's popping up. Jump. Oh, oh power slam. All right, I don't want to get hit by this fucking comeback. So, nope, no siree. Choke Slam City. That's what's up and down, for that matter. You're just getting right back up. Just no selling it. Totally no selling it. How about one of these? Boom. Face. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, oh yeah, I can do the oh my god to the outside. Uh, haven't done that yet. I was supposed to do that in the Brock match and I didn't because. Uh, Brock was just in beast mode, in 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 boy mode, and uh, it just wasn't an option. Uh oh. What? European uppercut. Barry Horowitz. Tagged and bagged. Please don't pin me. Come on now. Making me actually pay attention here. Four and a half stars. We're almost there, you guys. Almost there. It's so close. Here we go. I'm gonna squish him. Squishing him good. Alright. Let's hit the others. I wanted to hit the other... Oh, oh, oh right. The, uh, the other one, I, I changed it to the Kevin Owens Cannonball. And I haven't been able to get it set up yet. So, that's been unfortunate. Let's do some of this right here. And then hit the... Oh my god. No. Alright. Let's... Not enough stamina. There it is. Okay. I was like, where is it? Here we go. Brand new to the outside. Watch out, ref. Watch out, ref. Tornado DDT. Boom. Good stuff. Good stuff. No stamina. Good stuff. That much weight shouldn't be able to move that fast. But he can. Oh, kick right in the head. Alright, come on now. Give me that five stars. Give me that five stars. Rated five stars. I'm gonna 
Hopefully dodge this. Nope. Didn't do it. Really right? No pinfall? F you. That's not five stars. It's four and a half stars. I want that instant classic. You give it... Aw, oh, DDT. You give it to me, goddammit. Nope. Don't think so. Squish you again. There he goes. Five stars. Rated five stars. Now I have to lose. But you can't say I didn't go down without a fight here. Woo! The fat flu. The fat flu. Alright, now I can just sit back and relax and lose this match. Get up. All right, D-Bry. What you got? I didn't even do anything there. I don't think I, 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 I did anything there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, picking him up. There we go. I was literally setting him up for it. Like, literally setting him up for it. Like, come on, do your, your fucking drop kick, please. Letting him do his moves here. There you go, D-Bry. There you go. Yes, do the, do, do the headbutt. Do the flying headbutt. I will take the pinfall off the flying headbutt. Do it. Yes. 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 Boom. Like, I don't want to lose off of a bullshit move. Like, I'll happily lose off of, you know, your actual finisher or signature. Seriously. Make it exciting. And there we go. Your world champion did the job to Daniel Bryan because the authority said so because, you know, that makes sense. Yes. 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 I wonder if he'll be in the game next year. Hmm. I'm curious. Or, you know, this year. I wonder if he'll be in 2K17 is what I'm saying. I would hope so. Alright, we get it. We get it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm Moving on. Greatest of all time. Alright, I think that wraps up today's episode of the 2K16 and my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge. On the PS4, locked in a rivalry with that Balor boy. Um, but, you know, he, he isn't even in the world of title contention, which is real funny. Like, he's my current rival. And is he, is he in here? Nope, not even in here. So, sorry Brock, you got nothing. Uh, and tomorrow we're fighting Pentagon Jr. Um, and we have to win the match with the green arm health. Um, but we might not fight Balor until the pay-per-view after Battleground. And then lose the belt to Balor, I guess. That's how it's going to work. So, you know, and then win it back from Balor. And then, hopefully, get that check mark. Um, but it seems like we still didn't get enough discipline. And that kind of sucks. So, anyway, be that as it may. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, I'm a tax slug, more videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel, and I'm out!